Multan Punjabi, Saraiki, Urdu, Multan Multa N Listen, is a city in Punjab, Pakistan. Located on the banks of the Chenab River, Multan is Pakistan's seventh largest city, and is the major cultural and economic center of southern Punjab. Multan's history stretches deep into antiquity. The ancient city was site of the renowned Multan Sun Temple, and was besieged by Alexander the Great during the Malian Campaign. Multan was one of the most important trading centers of medieval Islamic India, and attracted a multitude of Sufi mystics in the 11th and 12th centuries, earning the city the nickname City of Saints. The city, along with the nearby city of Uch, is renowned for its large collection of Sufi shrines dating from that era. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The origin of Multan's name is unclear. It has been suggested that Multan derives its name from the Sanskrit word for the pre-Islamic Hindu Multan Sun Temple, called Malasthana. Hukam Chand in the 19th century suggested that the city was named after an ancient Hindu tribe that was named Mul. History Ancient The Multan region has been continuously inhabited for at least 5,000 years. The region is home to numerous archaeological sites dating to the era of the early Harappan period of the Indus Valley Civilization, dating from 3300 BCE until 2800 BCE. According to Hindu mythology, Multan was founded by the Hindu sage Kashyapa. According to the Persian historian Farishta, the city was founded by a great grandson of Noah. Hindu mythology also asserts Multan as the capital of the Trigarta kingdom ruled by the Katak dynasty at the time of the Kurukshetra War, that is central to the Hindu epic poem, the Mahabharata. Ancient Multan was the center of a solar worshipping cult that was based at the ancient Multan Sun Temple. While the cult was dedicated to the Hindu sun god Surya, the cult was influenced by Persian Zoroastrianism. The Sun Temple was mentioned by Greek Admiral Skylax, who passed through the area in 515 BCE. The temple is also mentioned in the 400s BCE by the Greek historian, Herodotus. <laughs> <laughs> Greek invasion Multan is believed to have been the Mali capital that was conquered by Alexander the Great in 326 BCE as part of the Malian campaign. During the siege of the city's citadel, Alexander leapt into the inner area of the citadel, where he killed the Malian's leader. Alexander was wounded by an arrow that had penetrated his lung, leaving him severely injured. During Alexander's era, Multan was located on an island in the Ravi River, which has since shifted course numerous times throughout the centuries. In the mid 5th century CE, the city was attacked by a group of Hephthalite nomads led by Taramana. By the mid-600s CE, Multan had been conquered by the Chach of Alor, of the Hindu Rai dynasty. <laughs> Early Islamic After his conquest of Sindh, Muhammad bin Qasim in 712 CE captured Multan from the local ruler Chach of Alor following a two-month siege. Following bin Qasim's conquest, the city's subjects remained mostly non-Muslim for the next few centuries. <inaudible> Abbasid Amirate By the mid-800s, the Banu Munabi also known as the Banu Sama, who claimed descent from the Prophet Muhammad's Quraysh tribe came to rule Multan, and established the Amirate of Banu Munabi, which ruled for the next century. During this era, the Multan Sun Temple was noted by the 10th-century Arab geographer al muqaddasa to have been located in a most populous part of the city. The Hindu temple was noted to have accrued the Muslim ruler's large tax revenues, by some accounts up to 30% of the state's revenues. During this time, the city's Arabic nickname was Faraj Bayt al-Dahab, frontier house of gold, reflecting the importance of the temple to the city's economy. The 10th-century Arab historian Al-Masudi noted Multan as the city where Central Asian caravans from Islamic Khorasan would assemble. The 10th-century Persian geographer Astakri noted that the city of Multan was approximately half the size of Sindh's Mansura, which along with Multan were the only two Arab principalities in South Asia. 
Arabic and Punjabi were spoken in both cities, though the inhabitants of Multan were reported by Astakri to also have been speakers of Persian, reflecting the importance of trade with Khorasan. Polyglossia rendered Multani merchants culturally well suited for trade with the Islamic world. The 10th century Hudud al Alam notes that Multan's rulers were also in control of Lahore, though that city was then lost to the Hindu Shahi Empire. During the 10th century, Multan's rulers resided at a camp outside of the city named Jandrawar, and would enter Multan once a week on the back of an elephant for Friday prayers. Karmatian Amirate By the mid-10th century, Multan had come under the influence of the Karmatian Ismailis. The Karmatians had been expelled from Egypt and Iraq following their defeat at the hands of the Abbasids there. Karmatians zealots had famously sacked Mecca, and outraged the Muslim world with their theft and ransom of the Kaaba's Black Stone, and desecration of the Zamzam well with corpses during the Hajj season of 930 CE. They wrested control of the city from the pro Abbasid Amirate of Banu Munabi, and established the Amirate of Multan, while pledging allegiance to the Ismaili Fatimid dynasty based in Cairo. The Karmatian Ismailis opposed Hindu pilgrims worshipping the sun, and destroyed the sun temple and smashed its revered Aditya idol in the late 10th century. The Karmatians built an Ismaili congregational mosque atop to the ruins to replace the city's Sunni congregational mosque that had been established by the city's early rulers. Medieval Ghaznavid Mahmud of Ghazni in 1005 led an expedition against Multan's Karmatian ruler Abdul Fateh Dod. The city was surrendered, and Fateh Dod was permitted to retain control over the city with the condition that he adhere to Sunnism. In 1007, Mahmud led an expedition to Multan against his former minister and Hindu convert, Nawasa Khan, who had renounced Islam and attempted to establish control of the region in collusion with Abdul Fateh Dodd of Multan. In 1010, Mahmud led a punitive expedition against Dodd to depose and imprison him, and suppressed Ismailism in favor of the Sunni creed. He destroyed the Ismaili Congregational Mosque that had been built atop the ruins of the Multan Sun Temple, and restored the city's old Sunni Congregational Mosque. The 11th century scholar Abu Mansur al Baghdadi reported that thousands of Ismailis were killed or mutilated during Mahmud's invasion, though the community was not extinguished. Mahmud's rule over the region was noted by al Biruni to have ruined the region's former prosperity. Following the Ghaznavid invasion of Multan, the local Ismaili community split, with one faction aligning themselves with the Druze religion, which today survives in Lebanon, Syria, and the Golan Heights. Following Mahmud's death, the city regained its independence from the Ghaznavid Empire and came under the sway of Ismaili rule once again. By the early 1100s, Multan was described by the Arab geographer Muhammad al Idrisi as being a large city, commanded by a citadel that was surrounded by a moat. In the early 12th century, Multani poet Abdul Rahman penned the Sandesh Rasik, the only known Muslim work in the medieval Apabramsa language. <laughs> Gurid In 1175, Muhammad Ghori conquered Ismaili ruled Multan, after having invaded the region via the Gomal Pass from Afghanistan into Punjab, and used the city as a springboard for his unsuccessful campaign into Gujarat in 1178. Multan was then annexed to the Gurid Sultanate, and became an administrative province of the Delhi's Mamluk dynasty the first dynasty of the Delhi Sultanate. Multan's Ismaili community rose up in an unsuccessful rebellion against the Ghurids later in 1175. According to Shah Gardez, the second invasion of Multan led to the extinguishment of the remnants of Ismailism in the region. Turkic Following the death of the Mumluk Sultan, Qutb al-Din Abak in 1210, Multan came under the rule of Nasiruddin Kabacha, who in 1222, successfully repulsed an attempted invasion by Sultan Jalal ad-Din Mingburnu of the Khwarezmian Empire, whose origins were rooted in Kanye or Gench in modern-day Turkmenistan. Kabacha also repulsed a 40-day siege imposed on the city by Mongol forces who attempted to conquer the city. Following Kabash's death that same year, the Turkic king Iltutmish captured and then annexed Multan in an expedition. 
The Punjabi poet Baba Farid was born in the village of Katwal near Multan in the 1200s. Mongols again attempted to invade Multan in 1236, and again in 1241 after capturing Lahore, though they were repulsed. Mongols held the city to ransom in 1246, and the city fell to the Karlujids that year until 1249 when it was captured by Sher Khan. Multan was then conquered by Is al Din Balban Kashlu Khan in 1254, before he rebelled against Sultan Giyas Ud Din Balban in 1257 and fled to Iraq where he joined Mongol forces and captured Multan again, and dismantled its city walls. The Mongols again attempted an invasion in 1279, but were dealt a decisive defeat. Tuluk In the 1320s Multan was conquered by Giyath al-Din Tuluk, founder of the Turkic Tuluk dynasty, the third dynasty of the Delhi Sultanate. The countryside around Multan was recorded to have been devastated by excessively high taxes imposed during the reign of Giyath's son, Muhammad Tuluk. In 1328, the governor of Multan, Kishlu Khan, rose in rebellion against Muhammad Tuluk, but was quickly defeated. The tomb of Shah Rukhan e Alam was completed during the Tuluk era, and is considered to be the first Tuluk monument. The shrine is believed to have been originally built to be the tomb of Giyath ad Din, but was later donated to the descendants of Rukhan e Alam after Giyath became emperor of Delhi. The renowned Arab explorer Ibn Battuta visited Multan in the 1300s during the reign of Muhammad Tuluk, and noted that Multan was a trading center for horses imported from as far away as the Russian steppe. Moulton had also been noted to be a centre for slave trade, though slavery was banned in the late 1300s by Muhammad Tuluk's son, Firuz Shah Tughlaq. Timurid In 1397, Moulton was besieged by Tamerlane's grandson Pir Muhammad. Pir Muhammad's forces captured the city in 1398 following the conclusion of the six-month-long siege. Also in 1398, the elder Tamerlane and Multan's governor Qazir Khan together sacked Delhi. The sack of Delhi led to major disruptions of the Sultanate's central governing structure. In 1414, Multan's Qazir Khan captured Delhi from Daulat Khan Lodi, and established the short-lived Sayyid dynasty—the fourth dynasty of the Delhi Sultanate. Topic: Langa Sultanate. Multan then passed to the Langa, who established the Langa Sultanate in Multan under the rule of Budan Khan, who assumed the title Mahmud Shah. The reign of Shah Hussein, grandson of Mahmud Shah, who ruled from 1469 to 1498, is considered to most illustrious of the Langa sultans. Multan experienced prosperity during this time, and a large number of Baloch settlers arrived in the city at the invitation of Shah Hussein. The Sultanate's borders stretched encompass the neighboring regions surrounding the cities of Chiniot and Shorkot. Shah Hussein successfully repulsed attempted invasion by the Delhi Sultans led by Tatar Khan and Barbak Shah. Multan's Langa Sultanate came to an end in 1525 when the city was invaded by rulers of the Argan dynasty, who were either ethnic Mongols, or of Turkic or Turko Mongol extraction. Suri In 1541, the Pashtun king Sher Shah Suri captured Multan, and successfully defended the city from the advances of the Mughal emperor Humayun. In 1543, Sher Shah Suri expelled Baloch rebels, who under the command of Fath Khan Jat had overrun the city. Following its recapture, Sher Shah Suri ordered construction of a road between Lahore and Multan in order to connect Multan to his massive Grand Trunk Road project. Multan then served as the starting point for trade caravans from medieval India departing towards West Asia. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Medieval trade. Multan served as medieval Islamic India's trans-regional mercantile center for trade with the Islamic world. It rose as an important trading and mercantile center in the setting of political stability offered by the Delhi Sultanate, the Lodi's, and Mughals. The renowned Arab explorer Ibn Battuta visited Multan in the 1300s during the reign of Muhammad Tuluk, and noted that Multan was a trading center for horses imported from as far away as the Russian steppe. 
Moulton had also been noted to be a centre for slave trade, though slavery was banned in the late 1300s by Muhammad Tuluk's son, Firuz Shah Tughlaq. The extent of Moulton's influence is also reflected in the construction of the Multani Caravanserai in Baku, Azerbaijan which was built in the 15th to house Multani merchants visiting the city. Legal records from the Uzbek city of Bukhara note that Multani merchants settled and owned land in the city in the late 1550s. Multan would remain an important trading center until the city was ravaged by repeated invasions in the 18th and 19th centuries in the post-Mughal era. Many of Multan's merchants then migrated to Shikarpur in Sindh, and were found throughout Central Asia up until the 19th century. Mughal period Following the conquest of Upper Sindh by the Mughal Emperor Akbar, Multan was attacked and captured by Akbar's army under the command of Baram Khan in 1557, thereby re-establishing Mughal rule in Multan. In 1627, Multan was encircled by walls that were built on the order of Murad Bash, son of Shah Jahan. Upon his return from an expedition to Balkh in 1648, the future Emperor Aurangzeb was appointed governor of Multan and Sindh, a post he held until 1652. In the second half of the 17th century, Multan's commercial fortunes were adversely affected by silting and shifting of the nearby river, which denied traders vital trade access to the Arabian Sea. Multan witnessed difficult times as the Mughal Empire waned in power following the death of Emperor Aurangzeb in 1707. Dar al Aman era Under Mughal rule, Multan enjoyed 200 years of peace in a time when the city became known as Dar al Aman. Abode of peace". During the Mughal era, Multan was an important center of agricultural production and manufacturing of cotton textiles. Multan was a center for currency minting, as well as tile making during the Mughal era. Multan was also host to the offices of many commercial enterprises during the Mughal era, even in times when the Mughals were in control of the even more coveted city of Kandahar, given the unstable political situation resulting from frequent contestation of Kandahar with the Persian Safavid Empire. <laughs> Post-Mughal Nader Shah conquered the region as part of his invasion of the Mughal Empire in 1739. Despite invasion, Multan remained northwest India's premier commercial centre throughout most of the 18th century. In 1752, Ahmad Shah Durrani captured Multan, and the city's walls were rebuilt in 1756 by Nawab Ali Muhammad Khan Kakwani, who also built the Ali Muhammad Khan Mosque in 1757. In 1758, the Marathas under Ragunathrao briefly seized Multan, though the city was recaptured by Durrani in 1760. After repeated invasions following the collapse of the Mughal Empire, Multan was reduced from being one of the world's most important early modern commercial centers, to a regional trading town. <laughs> Sikh era In 1772, Ahmed Shah Durrani's son Timur Shah lost Multan to Sikh forces. However, Multan's association with Sikhism predates this, as the founder of the Sikh religion, Guru Nanak, is said to have visited the city during one of his journeys. The city had reverted to Afghan rule under the suzerainty of Nawab Muzaffar Khan in 1778. In 1817, Ranjit Singh sent a body of troops to Multan under the command of Dewan Biwani Das to receive from Nawab Muzaffar Khan the tribute he owed to the Sikh Darbar. In 1818, the armies of Karak Singh and Misr Dewan Chand lay around Multan without making much initial headway, until Ranjit Singh dispatched the massive Zamzama cannon, which quickly led to disintegration of the Multan's defences. Misr Dewan Chand led Sikh armies to a decisive victory over Muzaffar Khan. Muzaffar Khan and seven of his sons were killed before the Multan fort finally fell on 2 March 1818 in the Battle of Multan. The conquest of Multan established Ranjit Singh's superiority over the Afghans and ended their influence in this part of the Punjab. Dewan Sawan Mal Chopra was appointed to govern the city, remaining in his post for the following 25 years. Following the Sikh conquest, Multan declined in importance as a trading post, however the population of Multan rose from approximately 40,000 in 1827 to 60,000 by 1831. 
Sawin Mal adopted a policy of low taxation which generated immense land revenues for the state treasury. Following the death of Ranjit Singh, he ceased paying tribute to a successor and instead maintained alliances of convenience with selected Sikh aristocrats. He was assassinated in 1844, and succeeded by his son Dewan Mulraj Chopra, who unlike his father was seen as a despotic ruler by the local inhabitants. Topic: 1848 Multan Revolt. The 1848 Multan Revolt and subsequent siege of Multan began on the 19th of April 1848 when local Sikhs loyal to Dewan Mulraj Chopra murdered two emissaries of the British Raj, Vans Agnew and Lieutenant Anderson. The two British visitors were in Moulton to attend a ceremony for Sardar Kahan Singh, who had been selected by the British East India Company to replace Dewan Mulraj Chopra as ruler of Moulton. Rebellion engulfed the Moulton region under the leadership of Mulraj Chopra and Sher Singh Atarawala. The Moulton Revolt triggered the start of the Second Anglo Sikh War, during which the Sajata Nation of the Shrine of Bahadan Zachariah sided with the British to help defeat the Sikh rebels. The revolt eventually resulted in the fall of the Sikh Empire in 1849. <inaudible> <inaudible> British Raj By December 1848, the British had captured portions of Moulton City's outskirts, and destroyed the Moulton Fort while bombarding the city. In January 1849, the British had amassed a force of 12,000 to conquer Moulton. On the 22nd of January 1849, the British had breached the walls of the Moulton Fort, leading to the surrender of Mulraj and his forces to the British. The British conquest of the Sikh Empire was completed in February 1849, after the British victory at the Battle of Gurat. Between the 1890s and 1920s, the British laid a vast network of canals in the Moulton region, and throughout much of central and southern Punjab province. Thousands of canal towns and villages were built according to standardized plans throughout the newly irrigated swathes of land. <inaudible> Modern The predominantly Muslim population supported Muslim League and Pakistan movement. After the independence of Pakistan in 1947, the minority Hindus and Sikhs migrated to India en masse, while some Muslim refugees from the newly independent Republic of India settled in the city. Geography Cityscape Multan's urban typology is similar to other ancient cities in South Asia, such as Peshawar, Lahore, and Delhi, all of which were founded near a major river, and included an old walled city, as well as a royal citadel. Unlike those cities, Multan has lost its royal citadel, as it was largely destroyed by the British in 1848, which negatively impacted the urban fabric of the city. Multan's old neighborhood homes exemplify Muslim concerns regarding privacy, and defense against the city's harsh climate. The urban morphology is characterized by small and private cul-de-sacs branching off of bazaars and larger arteries. A distinct Multani style of architecture began taking root in the 14th century with the establishment of funerary monuments, and is characterized by large brick walls reinforced by wooden anchors, with inward sloping roofs. Funerary architecture is also reflected in the city's residential quarters, which borrow architectural and decorative elements from Multan's mausolea. Topography Multan is located in Punjab, and covers an area of 133 square kilometres 51 square miles. The nearest major cities are Dara Ghazi Khan and Bahawalpur. Multan is located in a bend created by five rivers of central Pakistan. The Sutlej River separates it from Bahawalpur and the Chenab River from Muzaffar Gar. The area around the city is a flat, alluvial plain that is used for citrus and mango farms. Topic: <inaudible> Climate. Multan features an arid climate, Köppen climate classification BWH, with very hot summers and mild winters. 
The average annual precipitations 186 mm in. Multan is known for having some of the hottest weather in the Pakistan. The highest recorded temperature is approximately 52 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit, and the lowest recorded temperature is approximately minus 1 degree Celsius Multan's climate is primarily influenced by Western disturbances which generally occurs during the winter months between December and February. The western disturbance provokes moderate rainfall, with hailstorms also sometimes occurring. Dust storms occur during summer months. Moulton's dust storm sometimes produce violent wind. Heat waves occur during the hottest months of May and June, and can result in temperatures approaching 50 degrees Celsius Southwest monsoon occurs following the hottest months of the year, and lasts between June and September. Monsoon rains moderate temperatures, and can sometimes produce heavy rainstorms. Continental air prevails during the remaining months generally yields clear weather with little to no precipitation. Demographics Moulton City had a population of 1,197,384 in the 1998 census. As of 2017 census, Moulton's population jumped to 1.871 million. Topic: <inaudible> Language. The linguistic breakdown of the Moulton City Tessel as per the 1998 census is as follows. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Civic Administration. Administrators who are government servants have the powers of Nazim's mayor. Moulton District is spread over an area of 3,721 square kilometers, comprising four tehsils: Moulton City, Moulton Sadar, Shujabad, and Jalalpur Perwala. In 2005, Moulton was reorganized as a city district composed of six autonomous towns. Topic: Transportation. Topic: Motorways. Moulton is situated along the under construction six-lane Karachi-Lahore motorway connecting southern and northern Pakistan that is being built as part of the $54 billion China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. The six-lane, 392 kilometers long M5 section of the motorway is being built between Sukkur and Moulton at a cost $2.89 billion. The M5 has been under construction since May 2016. Moulton will also be connected to the city of Faisalabad via the M4 motorway, which in turn will connect to the M1 and M2 motorways that will provide access to Islamabad and Peshawar. Further links with the Karakoram Highway will provide access to Xinjiang, China, and Central Asia. Construction of the M3 motorway also under construction at a cost of approximately $1.5 billion, and was launched in November 2015 the motorway will branch off of the M4 motorway and will connect Lahore to the M4 at Abdul Hakim. Rail <inaudible> 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 Moulton is connected by rail with all parts of the country and lies on the main track between Karachi, Peshawar, Lahore and Kedha. The main Line 1 railway that links Karachi and Peshaway passes through Moulton district is being overhauled as part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. As part of the part of the project, railways will be upgraded to permit train travel at speeds of up to 160 km per hour, versus the average 60 to 105 km per hour speed currently possible on existing track. The project is divided into three phases, with the Peshawar to Moulton portion to be completed as part of the project's first phase by 2018, and the entire project is expected to be complete by 2021. From Moulton, links to Kanewal, Lodron, and Muzaffargar are offered by rail. Moulton Cantonment Railway Station is the main railway station of Moulton. <laughs> Bus rapid transit The Moulton Metrobus is a bus rapid transit line which commenced service in January 2017, at a cost of 28.8 billion rupees. 
The BRT route serves 21 stations over the course of 18.5 km, of which 12.5 km are elevated. 14 stations are elevated, while the remainder are at street level. The BRT route begins at Bahadan Zakaria University in northern Moulton, and heads southward to pass by the eastern edge of Moulton's Old City at the Daulat Gate before turning east to finally terminate at the Kumaranwala Chowk in eastern Moulton. The route will initially serviced by 35 buses, serving up to 95,000 passengers per day. The Moulton Metrobus is planned to ultimately have total of four BRT lines covering 68.82 km, which will be complemented by feeder lines. Air Moulton International Airport is located 10 km west of Moulton city centre, in the Moulton cantonment. The airport offers flights throughout Pakistan, as well as to the Persian Gulf states. In March 2015, a new terminal building was formally inaugurated by Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Following the opening of the new terminal, passenger traffic soared from 384,571 in 2014-2015, to 904,865 in 2015-2016. Education <inaudible> 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 The NFC Institute of Engineering and Technology, established as the training center of the National Fertilizer Corporation NFC of Pakistan, is a degree-awarding engineering and technology institute in Moulton, serving mainly the areas of southern Punjab province. Bahadan Zakaria University, formerly known as Moulton University, is the main source of higher education for this region. Air University Moulton campus is the prominent science and engineering institute in the region. The Swedish Institute of Technology in Moulton is a campus of the Swedish Group of Technical Institutes, the largest private sector organization providing technical education and vocational training in the Punjab. Nishtar Medical University is a worldwide famous medical university in Moulton. It offers many undergraduate and postgraduate programs for medical students. It is also famous for its beautiful and ancient building. Its teaching hospital is Nishtar Hospital Moulton, one of the largest hospitals in South Asia. The Institute of Southern Punjab, a private and chartered degree awarding institution well known for its Vogish City campus and streamlined educational program is another notable educational establishment in the city of Moulton. Now more universities from federal are also opening campuses in Moulton, such as National University of Modern Languages and UML. The Women University Moulton is the first government women university offering higher education to the females of southern Punjab. It was established in 2013. Topic: Heritage. Topic: Praladpuri Temple. Praladpuri Temple, Moulton is located it is located on top of a raised platform inside the fort of Moulton, adjacent to tomb of Hazrat Baha'u'l Haq Zachariah. A mosque has subsequently built adjacent to temple, the original temple of Praladpuri is said to have been built by Prahlad, son of Haranyakashipu, the king of Moulton in honour of Narsing Avatar, an incarnation of Hindu god Vishnu, who emerged from the pillar to save Pralada. Notable saints of Moulton Shah Yusuf Gardezi d. 1136, tomb located inner Bohar Gate Moulton Mai Maharban 11 12th century, tomb located near Chowk Fawara, Children Complex Moulton Bahadan Zikaria 1170-1267, tomb located in Moulton Fort Makdum Abdul Rashid Haqqani (1170–1260), tomb located in Makdum Rashid Moulton. Shah Rukhan Alam (1251–1335), tomb located in Moulton Fort. Kawaja Awais Kaga (d. tomb located in Dara Basti Graveyard, Moulton. Syed Musa Pak (d. 1592). Hafiz Muhammad Jamal Multani (1747–1811). Syed Atta Ullah Shah Bukhari buried in Jalal Bakri 
Syed Noor ul Hassan Bukhari, buried in Jalal Bakri. Ahmad Saeed Cosmi, buried in Eidgah, Multan. Hazrat Qazi Hisamuddin Multani, known as Qazi Jamaluddin Multani Badani. Sports The Multan Cricket Stadium hosted many international cricket matches. Ibn e Qasim Bagh Stadium is the other stadium in Multan which is used for football. Multan is home to Multan Tigers, the domestic cricket which represents the city in domestic tournaments and Multan Sultans, the new franchise of Pakistan Super League. Multan has produced many international cricketers like Insamam ul Haq, Sohaib Maksud, Rahat Ali, and Sanya Khan. Professional Multan teams Notable people from Multan Shakir Shuja Abadi, poet Yusuf Raza Jalani, politician Shah Mahmood Qureshi, politician Har Karan ibn Mataradas Kambo Multani, scholar and Persian letterist Javed Hashmi, politician Malik Muhammad Rafiq Rajwana, lawyer and politician Fariduddin Ganshakar, 12th century Punjabi Muslim preacher and mystic Insamam ul Haq, former cricketer and captain Saima Noor, actress Kandil Balak, social media celebrity Sister cities Rome, Italy Konya, Turkey Rasht, Iran Shihezi, China Ganja, Azerbaijan See also Molten portal Climate of Molten City wall of Molten Festivals in Molten History of Molten List of places in Molten Molten district Molten division Molten Fort Molten International Airport Molten Museum Siege of Molten Battle of Molten Mausoleums of Molten Hindu temples in Molten List of educational institutions in Molten Mosques of Molten <laughs>